Hey guys, Artilock here. After hours and hours of work, I've finally finished turning my typewriter into a computer. In case you aren't already familiar with this project, a few months ago I got a Brother AX25 typewriter, and since then I've been working on connecting it to a Raspberry Pi using an Arduino so I can use it as a Linux terminal. If you want to see more information about how it works, check out my previous videos where I've worked on the prototype for this design. It's a fully functional computer running Linux, you can use it to do basically anything that you'd do in a terminal. The Raspberry Pi is running in headless mode, so we can log into it through the serial port using the Arduino, which scans the keyboard and controls the typewriter. The keyboard uses Matthias Alp's clicky switches, which feel amazing to type on and are super loud. It's taken me a lot of work to get to this point since my last video. First I'll show you how I designed and built the final version, and then I'll show you what it can do and take the new keyboard out for a spin. Make sure you stick around for the sound test of the keyboard at the end of the video, it sounds awesome on its own. A few weeks ago I did some live streams where I designed the PCB that would replace the typewriter's keyboard and allow me to easily connect an Arduino Nano and a Raspberry Pi Zero to it. If you want to see my live streams and videos about future projects, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. After a few revisions and a lot of advice from Reddit and Discord, I finally finished the design and ordered it from PCBWay. I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this project because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to afford the large PCB and plate for this keyboard. After a few days, the PCBs and all the other parts arrived, and I could finally get to work putting it together. I decided to start with the surface mount multiplexers, since they were the smallest parts and would be the hardest to solder. I struggled through soldering the first one, and after cleaning up the pins, I realized that the chip was at a slight angle, which caused each pin to be shorted to its neighbors. I desoldered it so I could try again, but I ended up breaking one of its legs in the process. I tried again and soldered two more multiplexers to the PCB, as well as all the other small components and the Arduino Nano, so I could test it out and see if the keyboard was working. After making some modifications to my code, which is available on GitHub, I plugged the Arduino into my computer and tried it out. Unfortunately, it didn't work. On closer inspection, I discovered that a few of the pins on one of the multiplexers were bent, causing the same issue as before. Since I didn't think I'd be able to desolder it without breaking it, I decided to start over and wire up the multiplexers from my prototype to a new PCB. I labeled a pin from each of the keyboard matrix's rows and columns so I could solder wires from each of them to the multiplexer's channels to scan the keyboard. One of my viewers, Whisker, sent me these Matthias Alps switches. They're super clicky and should feel great to type on. Thanks for recommending them to me and sending me a bag of the extras you had. I put the switches in the plate and soldered them all to the PCB. Then I wired up the multiplexers to the keyboard and the Arduino. This whole process took a long time, but once it was done and after some debugging, the keyboard worked. Next I connected the Raspberry Pi sent to me by my viewer CSTRSK and tested out its connection to the Arduino. It worked great, so I continued with the assembly. I got to work wiring up the multiplexers for controlling the typewriter. It was much easier because I didn't need to solder any wires between it and the multiplexers. After that, I flipped the PCB over and slotted it into the typewriter. It was surprisingly hard to get the multiplexers and nano to fit under it without breaking anything. Once it was all put together, I put the keycaps on. Putting the top half of the typewriter shell back on was much easier. I just had to route the two USB cables for power and debugging through the hole in the back. And finally, I used a piece of foam core poster board to fill in the gap left by removing the typewriter's old keyboard, since I didn't want to cut it in half. Now it's time to test it out for real. Like I said before, it's a fully functional Linux terminal. You can use it to do basically anything that doesn't require a user interface, like Vim or Nano. Luckily, ED was created for use with paper-based terminals, so to test out the keyboard, I'll create a new document called Typewriter using it. To enter insert mode, I just hit A and then enter, and now I can type whatever I want. These switches feel great to type on, they're really tactile and very loud. Each key press results in a satisfying click before the typewriter prints it out. To exit insert mode, I just press period and enter, and then WQ to save and quit. I can print out the file I just wrote using cat. I'll do some more stuff you might do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll make a new directory called demo, and then I'll make a bash script using ed again. Now I just enter insert mode again, and I'll type echo hello world, which will make it print hello world whenever you run it. Next I save and quit, and after changing the permissions on the file so it can be executed, I can run it. Obviously you'd usually make more complicated scripts, but this shows that I can use my typewriter to automate all sorts of tasks. 
I figured I'd use my typewriter to print a portrait of Linus Torvalds, who created Linux and made all of this possible. Open source software and hardware were absolutely instrumental in making this project work. I'd like to thank everybody who helped me out with this project on Reddit, Twitter, and Discord. Your advice helped me a ton and taught me a lot about programming and circuit design. I'd especially like to thank my viewers Whisker and CSTRSK again for sending me the switches and the Raspberry Pi Zero. It was incredibly generous of them and I really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank PCBWay again for sponsoring this project, and I look forward to working with them again in the future. And finally, here's the sound test. I figured some of you might want to hear the keyboard on its own, so here you go. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.